Welcome to the second of two concise NetHack videos about the CASEL level in NetHack version 3.6.6. The concise NetHack videos show you what you need to know about specific NetHack areas without wasting your time. In this video, I'll cover retrieving the wand of wishing, exploring the storerooms, and entering the valley of the dead. All right, you can see that I'm on the castle level here. I've cleared out the atrium. I've cleared out the throne room. The wand of wishing is in one of these four rooms. Let's go ahead and retrieve that wand. Um, you know, troll coming back to life. I could put him in the chest, I suppose. Um, deal with the cockatrice. And we still got some soldiers here. And I typically go more slowly, but I'm just going to... You have to, I'm just going to move quickly. You have to actually go into the room to see if there's a chest here. You can't see it around the corner until you pretty well step in. And I just explore all four rooms. I could use a potion of object detection to see where the chest is that has the wand of wishing. Uh, we got some apes. And there's a scroll of scare monster and my chest. I'm going to and it's got Elbereth there, so nobody else will bother it. I'm going to apply my key, unlock it, loot the chest, out. There's my brass wand, which is my wand of wishing. Um, I'm going to cast Identify so I can see how many charges I have on my wand. Take off my iron armor zap. You can see I can cast Identify. I always put it in the eye slot. I always succeed. No, but I'm losing the spell. I'll have to reread it. Uh, my brass wand that I just picked up is I. It's a wand of wishing with three charges. Sometimes the wand has three, sometimes two, sometimes one. I'll have a separate uh, concise net hack video about uh, using wands of wishing, but I've got it now. All right, get dressed again and kill the tame monster. And... I've got the wand. I could go explore these, but for brevity, the sake of brevity, I won't do that now. Um, don't want to kill the troll while he's on my throne, even though he'd probably come back to life. All right, there's a chest. I deal with the chest the normal way. I'm going to kick that door down because I'm not afraid of waking things up. This corridor here has, I believe, four pit traps along it. Those pit traps are the only way to go down into the Valley of Dead because you'll notice even though I've cast magic mapping, I can see an up staircase here. There are no down staircases on the level. The castle level, uh, most of the walls, except in the mazes, cannot be dug through and the floor can't be dug through. So um, the only way to get down to the Valley of the Dead is to fall through these pit traps. I don't want to do that yet. I'm going to put on my Ring of Levitation. And you can see there's one, there's another. I got a giant there throwing potions at me. Um, I can actually push these boulders into the pits. That will fill them up. Um, I could redig the holes afterwards. Um, I think what I'll do for now, remove my ring, push that into a pit. You know, just break that one. Wield T, wield A, shift X, two weapon. Now I've got dragons. I'll push that into a pit for now as well. Uh, let's kill the dragons. I'm going to kick the doors down. Um, okay, my black dragon just zapped disintegration at me. There was another dragon here, I think, and he may have just disintegrated it. Yeah, the gray dragon is disintegrated. Thank you, black dragon. Um, I typically like to eat one black dragon per game just to get disintegration resistance even though it's rarely needed um, it's hitting me and reflecting all right I've killed I killed two of the dragons black dragons disintegrated the other two let's look at the storerooms I'm going to search for the hidden doors 22 search kick the door down this is the food storeroom there's typically not a lot of good stuff here I'll keep a tin in case it's spinach I'll identify it later now the armor storeroom may have some good armor in it or some magic armor helm of telepathy I'll use that for poly uh, polypying let's see what I can stick uh, in uh, I can 
I, I got to stash some stuff in my bag because I am out of spots. I'll put the Wand of Wishing in for now as well. All right, so now I can pick up. Don't need a chain mail. Most of this is junk. Okay, nothing else there is important to me. I got two more storerooms. Um, okay, I got gems. Typically they're junk, but there is often one or two or three good ones. I got a ruby, a jathsynth stone. Worthless, worthless. There's a sapphire. So I got three good gems out of there. I keep all my gems. It bumps my score up at the end of the game. Uh, the the weapon storeroom. Sometimes you can get an artifact out of the weapon storeroom, so I check them all. Um, I'm going to go back and use that throne now to see if I can get a wish. You'll notice I didn't use a wish as soon as I found the throne because typically at this stage in the game I'm wishing for armor and I have on more than one occasion wished for something on the throne like a uh, gauntlets of power and then gone into the storeroom and found gauntlets of power there. So I always check out the armor storeroom before I wish. Put on my ring of levitation to get through, remove it. Uh, I'm going to put all my money in my bag, stash dollars, apply uh, B stash dollars, and uh, now I'm going to sit on this throne, Alt S. I feel repulsive, so it has damaged my charisma. I think if I use my unicorn horn, it's increasing it. I went down to seven. I'll keep applying my unicorn horn. When it says you feel better, it has improved the stat, but it hasn't improved it all the way. If it makes you feel great, all your stats are up to their maximum. I'll sit again. Somehow out of place, it vanishes in a uh, puff of logic. Put on L. Um, put on my ring of levitation. I'm going to push this and You'll notice out of the five, I guess, pit traps on this level, I filled three of them with uh, boulders. I could redig them out because I'm going to need them later on, but for now I'll just finish the level by killing the giant. Um, and now it's time to jump down through the pit trap by stepping on it. But I'll save that for another video. That's all I want to cover for now. I hope you've enjoyed this concise net hack video about the castle level. Thank you for watching.